Now that your data has been transferred to QuickBooks Online, it's time for you to check you are happy with the results. Odyssey have emailed you a checklist on how to check your data. Although great care is taken to convert the data perfectly, every business organises its accounts differently. That's why it's important to take the time to check the data has transferred as you'd expected. It's important that no transactions are added or changed whilst completing this process, as it will become impossible to check data with the old software. To get a good overview of the converted data, you will need to check these reports. Trial balance, balance sheet, general ledger, customer aging summary, supplier aging summary. You will find most of the reports you need on your recommend tab in your reports center. Use the trial balance and balance sheet to get an overview of your figures and make sure there aren't any obvious discrepancies. When you run the reports, enter the conversion period in the report date fields. This will generally be the last two financial years, unless you have selected to do more. Verify that the figures on these reports match the figures on the same reports for the same period on your original file. If you sell and track inventory on hand, QuickBooks Online uses the FIFO method to value inventory, so it's normal to have discrepancy with your inventory asset account when comparing these accounts on your balance sheet. Checking the general ledger report, you will be able to make sure that all transactions have been moved to QuickBooks Online for all dates that you requested. When you run the general ledger report, enter the conversion period in the report date fields. This report will sort transactions by account and the oldest to the newest transaction by default. Check over this report to ensure all the transactions have converted as expected. Run the account's receivable aging summary and the account's payable aging summary to check that the balances have converted correctly. Check the total balance and also that the balance for individual suppliers and customers is correct. The total balance on your report should also match the balance of each on your balance sheet. Once you've run the checks listed on the Odyssey checklist, you could let Odyssey know that you are happy with your file. If you notice any data discrepancies or have questions about the conversion, Odyssey will be happy to help. Just let them know what you've spotted and they will look into it. It's important you don't make any changes to the data. Now you've checked and approved the data that has been converted, you will have full access to your QuickBooks Online file. Although the data conversion is made as comprehensive as possible, there are still a few things you will need to do before you start using QuickBooks Online on a day-to-day -day basis. It's best to take care of these jobs as soon as possible, and certainly before you make other changes to the data or begin entering new transactions. Odyssey have already emailed you a step-by-step -step checklist to ensure this is an easy process. Have this checklist handy to follow each of the steps. During the conversion, you gave Odyssey access to your QuickBooks file. Step one is to go in and remove that access. Go to the gear icon under your company and then manage users. Select the Odyssey user and delete. Step two is to confirm your company settings. Although we're able to move your accounting figures into QuickBooks, other information like company name, address and email details do not convert over. You will now need to go in and update this. Back to the gear icon under Company Settings and then Account and Settings on the Company tab, work through and update your company information. Step three is confirming your GST settings. It's important that QuickBooks Online is set up with the correct ABN and lodging frequency for your BAS before you start using it. You can skip this step if your business isn't registered for GST or talk to your QuickBooks Online Certified Pro Advisor if you need expert advice. Because you have never lodged a BAS using QuickBooks Online before, QuickBooks Online assumes that all GST recorded in the accounts is now due. This means the GST balance shown in QuickBooks is wrong. You need to tell QuickBooks when GST has been lodged up to. 
This will ensure the GST balance shows correctly and that future BAS returns are accurate. Step four will take you through this. The fifth and final step is your bank reconciliation. Again, because you have never used QuickBooks Online to perform a bank reconciliation, it assumes that no bank transactions have been reconciled. Take your closing bank balance and the date from your converted file and enter them on the reconciliation screen. You then need to mark all transactions up to the conversion date as reconciled. Ensure your difference is zero, then select Finish Now. Your next reconciliation after the conversion will then have the correct opening balance. Once you've performed the tasks in your checklist, you can start using QuickBooks on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have any questions about any of these tasks or any other aspects of QuickBooks Online, just contact the expert QuickBooks Online customer care team.